Hello class, uh, welcome to our second to last week. Next week, uh, we will finish this course. Before we get started, I want you to go back and view the feedback I left on assignment two. Um, there's a code word in the document, and then I would also like you to look at my feedback and see if there's anything that I suggested um, you work on for assignment three. If you need a refresher on how to view feedback, you can uh, watch this short little two minute video, which will show you step by step how to access the feedback. So go ahead and pause this video and complete this um, assignment um, and then come back and I'll move us on. All right, so after you've viewed your feedback, um, I want us to jump right into reading My Name is Asher Lev this week um, and you have a short reading activity to do. Um, turn to page 322 and 325 and read this scene. Um, it's not a clearly marked scene, so I've given you the lines where you should start and stop. Start at the line that says, away from my world, alone in my apartment, and then end at when I found I could no longer paint. Um, in this scene, Asher is painting and creating what's going to end up being his masterpiece work. Okay, so we're approaching the resolution um, in the book. So go ahead and answer the four questions that we've been practicing from uh, Graf and Birkenstein. And then after you complete the steps, make sure to give what your interpretation or what you think the interpretation or meaning of the scene is. And remember to include pictures of your annotations. Um, sometimes some of you are leaving those off. So um, complete these activities. And when you come back, I'll move us um, into discussing assignment three in more detail. This week, we're going to begin writing assignment three, which is on My Name is Asher Lev. So just to review, this assignment is due the last day of class, which is December 20th. That's a Sunday. And this assignment is also worth the most in the course at 20% of your grade. So it's very important to do well on this uh, paper. It needs to be a minimum of 1,000 words, and three sources are required. And I'll explain more about the sources uh, toward the end of uh, this class session. So just a reminder that, again, you're looking to find a central textual conflict in this novel, and then you're going to analyze how this conflict is uh, illustrated throughout POTOC. So you are expected to pull from the text and use specific scenes and examples and words of the characters to prove that this context or to prove that this conflict um, exists. I don't have a student sample for you guys to see of this paper, uh, but if you look at the DeVere article, which we're reading this week, this article gives you a sense of what I'm looking for. Um, this would be a literary analysis um, article, and that's really what I'm asking you to do in assignment three. Just as we did for uh, assignment two with the Book of Ruth, we're going to go over the same six steps to write assignment three. Uh, but I do want to make one little point first, which is that the full meaning of a text can't be discovered until you know how the story ends. OK, so this is really true with fictional work. What a work means is revealed through how the story ends. That's kind of um, just like in an article. Uh, how the story ends is like the conclusion where the author sort of summarizes what the whole story means and gives us the sense of what the author wants us to walk away with or take away with um, as an understanding. So even though we're going to start this, if you haven't finished reading My Name is Asher Lev yet, you should still be able to do this, but you may tweak your answers or results a little bit once you've read the ending of the story. Uh, but you definitely need to do that by the end of this week. So tonight we're going to brainstorm for a conflict and hopefully you will uh, narrow that down and choose one. And then next week we'll work on finding your examples in My Name is Asher Lev and your sources, discovering your what of it and kind of outlining and drafting your essay. Tonight I will have you guys start on the sources a little bit after we do the brainstorm. So to brainstorm, um, basically focus on the conflicts. Where are their disagreements? And there are obviously a lot of those in uh, this uh, book. But here's a way to kind of help guide your thoughts in your brainstorming. Uh, what conflicts or disagreements or points of tensioning are happening between Asher and other characters? So maybe pick two or three characters who you would like to explore, maybe his father um, or the Reb. Um, you can also consider what conflicts are happening between Asher and his community or culture or uh, between other characters in the book that don't um, 
involve Asher. So Asher, you don't have to discuss Asher. Maybe if you're really interested um, in the relationship between Rivka and Araya, you can just focus on that. You don't have to include Asher in your paper. All right, next thing to ask yourself is what um, conflicts, disagreements, and tensions is Asher's community facing with the larger world? So again, if you don't want to focus just on Asher, you can talk about the wider Jewish community at this time. Uh, which of these conflicts at the moment do you think are central to the story and are they moving the story forward? So uh, consider this one really after you've spent some time uh, brainstorming. So go ahead, pause the video, um, answer these questions, see what your brain comes up with. And after you maybe brainstorm for about five minutes or so, come back and I'll walk you through step two. After you've brainstormed and generated a good list of possibilities, go ahead and narrow them down to focus on the central conflict that you want to um, write on and that you feel you have the most to say about. So this uh, central conflict will then be your theme for the paper. Um, and as I said with uh, writing the book, uh, the book of Ruth essay, uh, there's more than one way to uh, describe the central conflict and there's more than one right answer um, to this. So there are really, you can make an argument for there being many central conflicts and my name is Asher Lev. Uh, but the goal of this is to pick the one that um, is most important to you and that you feel you have the most to say about and which you feel um, is very key in moving the plot of the story forward. So go ahead, pause the video, choose your theme, and come back. All right, um, I'm going to have us work ahead a little bit at the moment to help you with next week. And I want you to think about what will your three sources be for assignment three. Um, the DeVere article that you're going to read um, for the discussion forum is an excellent uh, source for this paper. In fact, I think probably most all of you uh, will want to use um, this article. Um, realize too, you can use anything we've read in this class. If you want to use the Rambo videos on trauma, if you want to read, um, Al use Allison about who is my neighbor, even Sachs way back from like week uh, two, you can do that. If you want to read on Brueggemann, uh, which was all the way back in week one, kind of on the Ten Commandments um, and liberated bonding, uh, you may use that as well. So anything we've read in this class, you may use in your paper. Uh, next week, we will read an interview um, that Potok uh, gave. This can also be a source for your paper. So if you really want, you might want to work ahead and read that interview and um, maybe even do the journal entry um, on the interview. Um, if you can. It's a short interview. It should not take you very long. All right, realize too that my name is Asher Love Counts as one of your three sources in this paper. So really you only have to have two other sources. And I'm open to you using the Bible as one of those sources um, if you want. So between the DeVere article, other sources we read in the paper, our ProTalk book and the Bible, you may not need to find an additional source um, for my name is Asher Lev. Um, which is all right. If you do want to look for an additional source or you feel you need something else, you can try the Multnomah Library um, or you can use Google Scholar. Um, that is also a great place to go. So to access Google Scholar, I usually um, Google it because um, that's the easiest way. So Google Scholar is not just a normal Google search engine. What it is is it looks through academic databases um, and will pull up uh, results that are um, more scholarly and a little more reputable. So we'll filter out a lot of like blog results and things like that, like spark notes and such. Um, my name is Asher Lev. So if you just search for the name of the book, you will for, of course get the book, but you'll also see some other um, articles um, like influences of a portrait as a, uh, the portrait of the artist as a young man on my name is Asher Lev. So you can open it and usually you can always get the full text of an article that you find um, within Google Scholar. So the results in Google Scholar are sometimes not always um, like as uh, it sometimes does let a few oddball things in there, but usually the results you get here will be pretty similar to what um, we can get through the Multnomah Library. Sometimes there are some additional things that are available. Um, through Google Scholar, and then sometimes there's some things that are not here um, because at the library we pay for subscriptions to a lot of these databases and magazines, which you can't access 
um, for free from Google. So I would check both sources um, if you're going to look for an example. Also, um, in a video um, toward the end of the session, I'm going to show you how to search online and evaluate a source to know if it is good or not. Uh, but before we get to that, one thing I do want you to do is go ahead and read the DeVere article for Thursday's discussion forum post and then answer these two questions um, in the worksheet. And I do have a warning that this article does contain spoilers. So um, you may want to finish the book before reading this article. And if that's the case, you'll need to pause and come back to this later.